Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, this mail says Marvel really doesn't have much going on for them right now, do they? It does feel like Marvel's in a bit of a, just a malaise, maybe is the best way to put it. I mean, they're putting out comics, but is it, you know, can you get excited about Spider-Verse versus Venomverse? Can you get excited about another new creative team? Can you get excited about Dark, you know, the Doctor Doom's version of Dark Reign? Uh, I mean, I get, guess I get Marvel credit. They're trying to do something with Doctor Doom you know, before uh, he really lands in the MCU in a big way. So at least they're getting ahead of the ball this time. But, um, but you know, it, it, it just, it, it feels like they're, they're listless. The X-Men relaunch is perhaps the fastest way to go from returning the page on an era to I'm already kind of tired of this era. Like it, it just, a lot of these books feel tremendously like filler. Where is the, the excitement? We're, we're going to get an X-Men X-Men Uncanny X-Men crossover as a raid the prison that's in the Xavier mansion for some reason. And and it's like, is this um there's no buzz. There's just zero heat on on this stuff. Um I mean, even books that you would think would be kind of red hot popular. Um, you know, it's uh it, it's not, you know, Wolverine is the winter soldier. I, I mean, okay. Anyway, let me read this mail. It says, uh, Dear Perch, I've been following all the NYCC and New York Comic Con uh, announcements for the big two, and I was struck with how lackluster the Marvel ones were. Sure, Ultimate Wolverine doesn't look half bad, but the other announcements were stuff like Eddie Brock Carnage or yet another Women of Marvel one-shot. I think there is also that uh, Doom Mini to set up the next event and a Power Man Mini with the Timeless version as well. Yeah, it says Luke Cage has all the powers. Um, DC at least had something going for them with the announcement of the return of Vertigo and a couple uh, juicier announcements such as Hush 2. Okay. It's clear that Marvel really isn't in the best spot right now. The X-Books haven't really returned from the ashes. The Amazing Spider-Man is a joke. There isn't any momentum at Marvel besides maybe some of the Ultimate books. Marvel is just there as a publisher. At least with DC, get the sensor trying to build up the uh, fire, sorry, trying to build up the line, and get some solid books out while Marvel is just stuck in the mud. Nothing really feels new at Marvel anymore. But personally, I'm still enjoying Hickman's uh, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. To be fair, you could say the same about DC, but it's glaringly apparent with Marvel. I don't know what else to say uh, to further this email other than everybody read Marma and Arby's did 9-11. That is true. Um, you, know, they, you know, it's an opinion. So you can agree or disagree. It's totally up to you and kind of what you what you see about things. Um, but but I think there there even if you are a big Marvel fanboy, even if you loved all of the uh, the announcements, even if um, you believe, hey, everything is going well for me. And there there are, you know, back in 2016, 2018, you had people who were like, yeah, but, uh, you know, the uncancelable Wasp and Squirrel Girl. I know it wasn't the Uncancelable Wasp, but honestly, I've stopped remembering what it was actually called. Unstoppable Wasp, maybe? Anyway, uh, there are people who are like, this This comic is actually great. You know, Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur, Squirrel Girl, you know, the Wasp comic are the best things ever produced by a comic company. There were people who would say that, and, and they honestly believed it. And, you know, there are others who are saying that just to tweak people online, but there are people who believe that. So you may be looking at these Comic-Con announcements, you may be... So, you know, saying, hey, you know, I actually everything is in good shape and life's pretty good. And, you know, I, I don't know what everybody's bitching about because, you know, things are in good shape. Um, sure. Um, I, I just don't know. Um, the, the, the problem is, even if you even if you believe that life is good, you I hope would still acknowledge the fact that there there just is a gloom over a lot of Marvel announcements, over a lot of what they're doing. There is a, a sense of, uh, there is not a buzz or an energy. You may still like the books. That's fine. It's a personal choice. But beyond that, you know, if you go into a comic shop, you talk to people, you look at the attention coming out. Hell, one very anecdotal thing you can do is just look at the Marvel announcements on Twitter or on, you know, Bleeding Cool or CBR or wherever you happen to go. And just look at the amount of comments or reads or hits. You could see a lot of, or likes. You could see a lot of this. It's there. It's it's not even half of what it it's been in the past. Um, you know, DC again, like them or hate them, you're getting you know people showing off. Uh, you're getting Scott Snyder retweeting variant covers for Ultimate Batman number like six, and it's getting hundreds of likes, and you're getting. 
kind of a a Marvel announcement about you know Doctor Doom, and it's it's like fourteen, you know, from the Marvel account. It's just the the attention is way way down. And you can't judge everything from social media, of course, but overall, there's just not that that on the edge of your seat excitement. Once upon a time, and it still happens from for every now and then. You know, the comic conventions were, you know, there would usually be a a bombshell kind of news announcement that would come. And even long after the Comic Cons turned into, you know, movie and anime com, there was still a sense that something big was was happening. Um, or at least, you know, there was one big kind of juicy announcement to get excited about, one teaser. Hell, even Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman going, You bitches aren't ready for this. We're gonna do things in King and Black. It was like, what? You know, and, and those videos were eye-rollingly bad, but there was still a sense of, you know, hey, you got King and Black coming out. We're looking forward to that event. I mean, there's still a sense of some momentum. And I think, again, even if you like the, the Women of Marvel one-shot, sounds like the best possible thing for you. Um, overall, the company has lost its, its mojo. It's lost its, its spark. And and granted, you know, we've seen this before from the comic companies. Back when uh, the New 52 came out, Marvel was struggling to get oxygen in a lot of cases. There had a similar feeling of nothing is going on. And so we, we've seen this, this happen from time to time of just meh kind of announcements. And, and maybe your point of view is this is true about comics in general, but to the letter writer's point, I, I, DC has a little bit more of a spark at the moment. You know, Jeremy Adams is doing Aquaman. And that generated like, oh, okay, cool. I'm curious to see what he does. It generated, a, at least even for Aquaman, a sense of some excitement. Jim Lee's coming back for Hush 2. I don't think anybody believes that Jeff, Jeff Loeb, Jim Lee, Hush 2 is going to be an amazing title that is going to, uh, you know, uh, blow the doors off. I don't think anybody actually believes that's true, but... but all the same, they're excited about the idea of Jim Lee coming back into comics, doing something big, um, you know, getting to see him do art again on a monthly, what we hope, basis. I mean, even though nobody believes it's going to be an instant classic, there's still a buzz. There's still an excitement about it. Um, there, there isn't with a lot of the Marvel stuff. There just isn't. There is a sense of, it. it oh, we're getting another Spider-Verse thing. Um, Marvel succeeds when it is the torchbearer. And, and you could make this argument, which people won't like, that Marvel being huge and big is what sets the rest of you know the industry on fire. It's what causes retailers to order big on some things. It lifts all boats. A, a, a healthy, strong, successful Marvel helps everyone. Um, it, it's, pro, it's bad for comics if there's no heat or energy behind marvel um what are the big titles that we're we're super excited about spider-man's about to become a doctor doom wizard um okay ed mcginnis is doing that people like that i mean i guess they like ed mcginnis but but there's no there's no burning excitement over this in order to be really successful there's got to be there's got to be a sense of genuine um you know, Marvel has things up their sleeve that are going to make everybody excited to go into a comic shop. I think it's critical for the mainstream comic industry. If they don't have that, I think, every, you know, DC has to work twice as hard. And I think the indies suffer. And and when I say suffer, I, and that doesn't mean bad comics are going to come out. It doesn't mean you're not going to be able to find things you like to read. It doesn't mean any of that. It doesn't mean any comic is any worse. It just means the general enthusiasm for comics in the industry decreases a little bit. And when it decreases a little bit, people do not go into the comic shops as often. And when they don't get into comic shops, they may be disgruntled about Marvel and they may not pick up the two or three indie titles that would have had a better chance of success. But there's a Marvel being lackluster and not generating that excitement in a weird way hurts the Energon universe. It hurts everything because it's, what's, it, it's people in the door excited about something that would often pick up a different comic a comic that wasn't Marvel. That's the challenge that you have right now. And that's where you got to get some marketing behind these comic conventions, behind these events to get people super excited about what they're doing. If you don't have that, you're in trouble. Anyway, 
let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It, 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 do you sense, do you feel this as well? I, several of you will. I, I mean, I know enough about my comment section. Some of you will be like, yeah, fuck Marvel. But but objectively, try and look at it for a while and and recognize that, you know, even, a, a, well, I'll, I'll, I'll lay it out this way. Even coming out of COVID, Marvel is promoting Empire, that that shitty, uh, you know, plant take over the planet comic that there was more of a sense of enthusiasm and excitement around that, that time of Marvel than what we have today. Today, it's just very, very timid. Uh, there was more excitement for Tin of Swords, the first kind of big Hickman crossover, than today, to put it in perspective. My perspective. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.